Hello and welcome. My name is Kim and today I'm going to show you how to create this video by juxtaposing multiple AI generated video layers over each other. By now you might already know Weavy's compositor node. The compositor node takes multiple inputs. It takes images, 3D and text inputs. But from now on it also takes video input. So if I add a video here, you can see that the video gets juxtaposed over the image. This way you can now juxtapose multiple layers of video, image, 3D and text together in one compositor node. But let's start from the beginning. Using Flux Pro Ultra, I described this classic tropical Florida backyard. This image will work as the base for our scene. So in the next step, we're going to add characters to this scene. So what I do is that I take this image using Flux Pro Ultra and I add it to multiple Nano Banana nodes. In my Nano Banana nodes, you can see that I described a scene with very specific placement of my three different characters. So in this first one, I describe a man golfing on a roof. In the second one, I described the gardener tending to the bushes on the left side. And in the last one, I described the woman that is enjoying the sun on an orange chair on the right side. In the next step, we'll add it to video. So I took this image and I added it to Kling Video 2.1. Together with uh, uh, some video instructions, I got this video of this woman that is tanning. I did the same thing for the gardener. And the same thing to the golfing man. What I do then is that I will mask the parts of the videos that I want to use for the final output. So what I start by doing is that I take my video and then I add a painter node. The painter node is connected to the image of the gardener. And in the image, I used the tool to mask over the part of the video that I want to be seen in the final output. In the next step, I added the mask together with the video to the merge alpha node. So you can see from the painter, I dragged out from the mask output to the alpha input. And I took the video and added it to the video input so that you then get a masked video with a transparent background. I did the same thing to this tanning woman. So I added a painter node, I masked out pretty much her whole orange chair and merged it together in the merge alpha node so that we got a transparent background of the woman tanning in the sun. For the last video, the, man, the golfing man, I did not have to do any masking because this is the video that we're using for um, the base background layer for the video. So in the last step, what we'll do is that we'll take our three videos and we'll add it to the compositor node. So here I have this compositor node. I'll drag out this first video and add it to the background layer. On top of that, I'm going to add the gardener in layer one. And then in the third layer, we're going to add this tanning lady. So now we have all three different layers juxtaposed together in one video. In the last step, I also created a title for our movie. We'll call it Palm Shadows. I created it using GPT-1. I removed the background and then I will add it to layer three in our compositor so that it juxtaposes on top of the videos. If you press the edit button here, you'll get come into the compositor where you can add multiple different uh, blend modes. You can flip your videos 
or if you want to move them around. And that is how you can work with multiple layers using videos in the Compositor node. Thank you for watching.